welcome to Matt's Garage. Well, the Model A got itself a new engine, a diesel engine no less. These are just small engines, but they are pretty hefty. This one's about 200 pounds. This one's a diesel, so it's about 400 pounds. We actually hand loaded these. Um, I didn't get any video. I don't like recording at people's homes when I'm uh, buying stuff. I think I'm going to have to jack up the car a little bit. Oh, I'm hoping it lifts before it hits the window. I'm actually going to put a board on there to transport it off. As you can see the uh, other engine I got there, it's about a 10 horsepower Wisconsin. I haven't looked at it too closely yet. But this is my uh, plan for the Model A, is this uh, two cylinder diesel here. It's a uh, Petter AVA2 and 12 horsepower so that's the plan so i'm just going to get it positioned over here in front of the model a so you can kind of get an idea so i hope you guys think this diesel engine's as cool as i do i've never actually owned a diesel engine of any kind before so i thought it was about time i did and uh, i thought this would be the uh, perfect one to get and uh, needs a little bit of work it's actually seized up right now but uh, I checked it over really good when I bought it. I took the rocker covers off. I took the oil cap off. And I looked all in those areas with a flashlight. So I can see all in the base is nice. No rust. All in, in the rocker area there is nice. No rust. It's all oily in there. So I'm assuming that it's just in the bore where it's seized. And so I can probably break it free with some oil in there. Worst case scenario, I'll have to take the actual um, cylinders off and uh, hone them out and get everything cleaned up. But uh, it's a British engine, British diesel, and uh, I thought it was really cool and it would add to the car a lot. Um, I'm actually planning on the car being a little bit smaller than original because this is a four-door sedan and I'm just turning it into a two-door and uh, I just I have a few other little ideas for it that'll make it a little bit more compact. It's uh, really tall, but the body right now is just sitting on the floor. Normally, if it was on the frame, the engine would have the opportunity to sit down in the frame a little bit. And uh, the uh, running boards actually sit about four inches lower than the, at, uh, the bottom of the body there. So the engine is uh, under the hood, it should fit under the hood, and uh, it's also going to be back against the firewall more. I won't be using that fuel tank that's on the engine, I'll be using the Model A's factory fuel tank. And so the engine can slide back that much more until that's right against the uh, firewall, and then I'm actually going to be running a belt drive off this engine, just a V-belt, down to my transmission, which is a... Uh, three-speed manual of a 1966 uh, Chrysler. You can see just how wide it is too. It's it's going to take up the whole engine bay. I like that the engine's a 58. I'm trying to sort of keep the car in a theme as if a kid in the 50s or early 60s just had a bunch of uh, random parts laying around and wanted to throw it together and build something out of it. That's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm collecting up a up a bunch of uh, random antique car parts and uh, building myself an early car. I've just done a quick little mock-up for you guys here. I know it's not real good but uh, kind of give you an idea and show you that I do have the parts to build a car here. You can see I've got the rear fender, the running board, the front fender, the hood. I'm only going to run a hood top because this is an air-cooled diesel so I think the side needs to remain open. And uh, that's the grill panel. And I also got this door the other day. 
This is actually off a 1930 Chevy, and it's a bit bigger dimensionally every way, but it is a very similar style. So I'm hoping that I can just section it down, kind of maybe around the body line area mostly to get those to line up with the uh, Ford body lines and uh, get the hinges uh, lining up with where the Ford hinges go, that kind of thing and just make it work because I can't find a Model A door at all in any condition so this seems like less work than building a door from scratch anyways and again uh, this fender's off a 1930 Chevy but uh, it's easier to make it fit than to build a, a replica for the, of the original Model A fender this is still pretty similar it's a little wider I think so there you can see that's going to be the seat the seat frame right there going to be the only seat in it this car is going to be a you know shortened up and it's just going to have that area behind the seats it's going to be for storage I've got these original headlights these are actually off a Model A you can see the original style adjuster there and everything very cool and I have pictures of all the other fender mounting braces and brackets and stuff I mean, I'm still looking to see if I can find any other original parts for it, but uh, they are pretty scarce, so there's some stuff I'm just going to have to uh, live with uh, making, making them look as close as possible to original. This is the frame. This is from a 1930 Chev, and you can see the frame is cut off, and the fact that it's cut off doesn't matter that much because these Chevys, actually had a uh, regular traditional leaf spring set up like front to back but on the Fords it w went side to side now on the back I'm probably just gonna run the, the Chevy set up with the front to back but at least on the front I want to run my front axle like a Ford front axle so I'm gonna make my own setup I have a bunch of just random parts Put aside for that, one of them's a Toyota axle. I'm going to turn that into my front axle with the drum brake set up and everything. And uh, then I just have some old leaf springs laying around. I don't know, I'll make it work. I'll use a plate to just build the missing sections. I've got pictures of a Ford frame, so I'm going to go off those and uh, just shape it like a Ford frame. Because the Chev frame would have been different anyways. Here you can get a better look at that grill. So it is an original grill. This is the original hood. Like these are Ford parts that I collect up. Same thing with these fenders. You can see I've got the other front fender there. Thanks a lot for watching Matt's Garage. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And have yourself a great day. And uh, if you're interested for more updates on this uh, Model A project, uh, I'll have them as soon as possible. You can see from my breath here, it's really cold out here. And uh, as a result, I've been having trouble getting to work on this. You can see I've collected up all these parts. And I'm, I'm actually really anxious to get started here. But it's just, i got to wait for this weather to break, guys.